Hey guys, this is Paish from BM.com and Samsung's new One UI 4.0 beta update has been going around for quite some time now. And you know what? It's finally here in India and I have it installed on the Galaxy S21 right here. So you probably know what I'm going to do, right? Well, I'm going to tell you the coolest new features in One UI 4.0 and there's actually a lot of features. So yeah, let's begin. First up, the visual changes. So the biggest UI change in One UI 4.0 is support for wallpaper theming. So all you need to do is go to wallpapers from the home screen. And as you can see, there's this new color theme option. This shows you multiple themes based on the colors of your wallpaper. I can choose this one or this one or even this one. Now, if I change the wallpaper to this, I'll get a set of new color theme options to choose from. Plus, I like the fact that Samsung's wallpaper theming engine is supported by not just the UI elements, but by all Samsung stock apps. I mean, here's the phone app, here's the calculator app. So, yeah, this is cool. Now, apart from this, One UI 4.0 brings a new charging animation that looks like this. Yes, it's much brighter and colorful compared to the previous bland white animations. So, yeah, I like it. The brightness slider in the notification shade is bigger too, and it's a lot bolder. There's a media output option on the lock screen so you can switch, you know, things faster. The edge panel does not blur out the app you are in anymore. Now, I've also noticed one minor change in the dark mode. See, the dark mode in One UI 4 dims the icons as well, a little. Here are the icons in the light mode and here are the icons in the dark mode. See the difference? Anyway, moving on, the widget speaker panel has been changed too. So this is it and it's actually a lot like Android 12 and I think this is way more intuitive than the endless horizontal scrolling widget section of previous One UI iterations. There are new widgets too like this dual clock widget which changes colors depending on day and night of the location. There's also a new calendar widget which shows you the monthly view along with today's events. I also like how all widgets now have a more rounded corner design. Now the UI in apps haven't changed much but there are a few changes here and there. So for example, the My Files app has bigger thumbnails for recent files and I like that you can edit the main page of the file manager to only have what you want. Another example is the calendar app which features this bar at the bottom to quickly add events. Oh, so next up, the camera app in One UI 4.0 brings a new defined UI as well as some really cool features. First of all, the text is a little understated now, which I like and gone are the tree icons for different lenses. The new camera app shows you the exact numbers for them. I also like the fact that the UI shows me the exact zoom level I'm on, which was always a big annoyance with the previous camera app. Now the UI in pro mode is better too. It has a more explanatory text for different controls and I think it should be handy for a lot of people. There's also a new level indicator in the pro mode, which turns on when you enable the grid lines. Now, apart from this, when you scan a QR code now via the camera app, you can either go to the URL or copy that URL, which is very useful. Now, all that is great, but one change I really appreciate in One UI 4.0's camera app is the fact that the shutter button in the video mode is a lot faster to respond. See, in One UI 4, the video recording starts the moment I tap the shutter. In the previous camera app, it starts once I have lifted my finger, making it a little slow at times. See? So yeah, this is great. Now, the Samsung keyboard app is something that a lot of Samsung users use, so it's great that One UI 4.0 is actually improving. So the Samsung keyboard now has Grammarly integration built right in. Let me show you. So here I am writing a grammatically incorrect sentence, and as you can see, there's this green underline that pops up. I can just tap on it, hit this button here, and it shows me how I can correct things. I can just tap here, fix it, and yeah, become a grammar Nazi. Anyway, I like this because I make a lot of mistakes when I'm sending an email from my phone. So yeah, this is handy. Now, apart from this new feature, I also like that the Samsung keyboard categorizes emojis, stickers, GIFs under this new one button now. And this is a new feature that lets you combine emojis like this and send it across. I'm not sure I'll be using it or anyone will be using it, but it's here. I mean, you can customize the emojis, choose the animation. You get the idea. Next up, the device care page has also gone through a UI revamp and it has a couple of really interesting features. Now, first of all, here's how it looks. As you can see, it now shows you an emoji instead of a score to show you your device status. It also has these bigger cards for battery storage, memory, etc. And it also has the software update and diagnostics option right at the end. Now, coming to the features now in the more battery settings page, there's this new protect battery option right at the end that limits charging to 85% for better battery health in the long term. 
Apart from that, in the memory page, you can now see the RAM plus AK 4 gigs of virtual RAM that I did see on the M52. So this is probably coming to all phones with One UI 4.0. Let's face it, we all love these labs pages with experiment features and you know what, One UI has got it too, finally. In the advanced features page, there's a new labs option in One UI 4.0 which has one feature as of now, but it's a good feature. So this option forces all apps to work in the pop-up window aka floating window as well as in the split screen mode. For example, Netflix here does not support any of these modes. As you can see, there's no option here. Now I can enable this option in the labs page. And now you can see the options in Netflix. Awesome, right? Plus, I like that the floating window now has these window options all the time. The gallery is another app that has gotten a good update in One UI 4.0. I mean, the gallery app looks the same as it did on One UI 3.0 and has the feature recently got, like the ability to change the date and time as well as location of photos. I also like the new remaster feature. Anyway, one new gallery feature from One UI 4 is the ability to create collages that include both videos and photos. I can select a few photos and videos and hit create, then select collage. And now I can choose from different layouts, set which video sound I want, edit each photo individually. Yeah, this is great for Insta stories, I think. Apart from this, One UI 4.0's gallery app also lets you add emojis to videos and photos like this. Now, what you have 4.0 is based on Android 12, so duh, there's obviously Android 12 features, but with a little twist. See, privacy dashboard is here, but One UI 4.0 has a redesigned UI for it. I mean, it still shows you all the details of which app used the permission and when, so it's not a problem. It even lets you see clipboard usage. Anyway, One UI 4 also has the privacy indicators up top when an app uses the camera or the mic. There are also quick setting toggles for camera and mic. You can also give apps approximate location, which is awesome. Now, one additional setting I found in One UI 4.0 is the option to clear what your device has learned via Android's private compute core feature. It's pretty handy. Now, apart from all these, One UI 4.0 has a ton of these minor changes, so let me tell you all about them really quickly. For example, video call effects along with background options now has a new mic mode option with an option to choose voice focus for better focus on the speech and better noise cancellation. There's an extra dim toggle in the quick settings that does what it says should be handy for nights. The share sheet is now horizontal and it is editable, so awesome. AOD has an option to only turn on when the phone gets a new notification. Yes, this is a new option. Digital Wellbeing has a new driving monitor which checks how much you drive all week and what apps you use while driving. Now, apart from that, you can now use AI emojis on your Samsung account profile picture or in contacts. Now, lastly, I have noticed better search everywhere with the file manager, app drawer, settings, and more in One UI 4.0, so greatly appreciate that. But those are a lot of One UI 4 features, and yeah, this feature is kind of packed. Anyway, let us know in the comment section below which One UI 4 feature you like or you know dislike the most. Comment down below. Also, if you're planning to you know test out the One UI 4 beta on your S21, S21 Plus, or the S21 Ultra, we have a how-to that you can check from the link in the description down below. Also, give this video a like, make sure to share it, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Last me signing off. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.